As the years go by, we often forget the department chains that we used to frequent in the past. As department stores continue to dwindle due to buyouts, online shopping, and impacts from the recent COVID-19 crisis. With the holidays now here, we must sometimes look back and remember the stores that have faded away as the years go by. Here is part four of the Forgotten Department Store series. These series normally cover between five to 10 stores that are suggested by loyal subscribers to the channel. Be sure to check out the first three parts of the series. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Let's get started. Number 10, White Front. White Front was founded in South Los Angeles, California and opened its first store in 1929 at 7651 South Central Ave. The company's name refers to the practice of lining up white appliances such as washers, dryers, and stoves in front of the store, giving it a white front. A second store was eventually opened in 1957 before the company was acquired by interstate department stores. After the acquisition, the company attempted to expand in different areas and states in which the markets were already competitive. By the 1960s, White Front had locations in Washington and Oregon, bringing its peak store count to 11. The chain would eventually close its doors in 1975 after interstate department stores filed for bankruptcy. Number 9. Fedco Fedco was a membership department store that only operated in California. It was founded in 1948 by 800 U.S. post office employees who wanted to start purchasing goods directly from the wholesalers. At its peak, Fedco operated up to 10 stores and offered a lifetime membership for $10. In the 1990s, of course. They were also one of the first membership stores to accept bank cards. Fedco eventually struggled to compete with other membership chains such as Costco and Sam's Club and other stores like Kmart, Target, and Walmart. Fedco filed for bankruptcy in 1999, and most of its locations were sold to Target. The lifetime memberships were exchanged for a $300 coupon book at Target. Number 8. McRae's McRae's was founded in 1902 by Samuel P. McRae as a dry goods store. In the beginning, the company operated solely in Mississippi up until the 1970s when it opened a location at University Mall in Pensacola, Florida. In 1987, it acquired the 13-store chain Pizzits, which was an Alabama-based store. This now meant that McRae's served in Mississippi, Florida, and Alabama. McRae's was acquired by Tennessee-based Profits in 1994 in which it retained the name and operated as a separate subsidiary. McRae's eventually became a part of Saks Incorporated, owner of Saks Fifth Avenue, after profits merged with Saks Holdings. Profits along with McRae's were sold to Belk in 2005, in response to Saks wanting to focus more on a luxury retail operation. By 2006, all but a few locations were downgraded to Belk stores, while some in Alabama were rebranded as Parisian. Number 7. Gotts Chalks Founded by German-Jewish immigrant Emil Gotts in 1904 as a dry goods store in Fresno, California, after a successful run for 10 years, the store moved into a larger store in which the founder passed control of the chain to his brother-in-law and nephew. It wasn't until the 1960s when the chain started to expand. The strategy that kept them successful was by operating its stores in smaller cities that could not support full-size national stores. They also built smaller, single-level stores that ranged from 80,000 square feet to 110,000 square feet. The company made several acquisitions of stores, such as Brock's in 1987, Samuel Leeskin Sons in 1988, followed by Harris Department Store Chain and Lamont's in 1998 and 2001. In January of 2009, the chain filed for bankruptcy after not securing a loan and closed its final stores by March of that same year. Several of its prime locations became Macy's or Forever 21s. Number 6. Hooters Hooters Alco 
Alco was founded in 1901 in Kansas by Alva Lease Duckwall as a five and dime variety known as Duckwalls. It wasn't until 1968 when the company began to move into the discount retail business and open stores under the name Alco. By 1985, after three acquisitions, the company had a total of 127 Alco stores and 33 duck walls in 14 states, located in the Midwest. In 1989, Duckwall Alco filed for bankruptcy, emerging from it in 1991, after securing financing from GE Capital. They also shuttered 52 underperforming stores and targeted communities where there was no direct retail competitor, such as Walmart, Target, or Kmart. In 2010, the Duckwall stores were all shuttered, ending the Duckwall name. The company entered bankruptcy a second time in October of 2014, citing increased competition and a decrease in business. By 2015, the last Alco store closed, and some of the locations were either acquired by Shopco or Boomgars. Number 5. Hills Based out of Canton, Massachusetts, it was founded in 1957 by Herbert H. Goldberger. It opened as a full-fledged department store before downgrading to a discount department store. The chain was sold to SCOA, Shoe Company of America, in 1964, in which the founder remained president of the company up until 1981. It became public in 1987 as the nation's eighth largest discount retailer, in 1989, it purchased 35 of the Ohio-based Gold Circle locations that were in New York and Ohio. It filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 1991, in which the stores downsized from 214 to 151. This was a result of Hills going public in 1987 and the purchase of the Gold Circle stores in 1989. In 1993, the company exited bankruptcy after improving stores, closing underperformed ones, and introducing a new prototype store. In 1998, Ames acquired the 155 Hill stores, and by 1999, all the stores were renamed Ames. Ames would eventually fold in 2002 due to acquiring this chain. Number 4. Best Best Products, simply known as Best, was a catalog showroom founded by Sydney and France Lewis in 1957. The first location opened in Richmond, Virginia off Marshall Street. In the 1970s, Best contracted with James Wines, Sculpture and the Environment, Site, to design nine highly unorthodox stores. These stores featured distressed facades, peeling facades, and a sliding entryway. The concept of the store was set up like IKEA, in which customers would walk around the store and submit orders to the personnel in which saleable versions of the merchandise, usually boxed and or in its original packaging, would then be retrieved from storage and delivered to a customer service area for subsequent purchase. Throughout the 1980s, Best acquired many competing catalog stores such as Basco, Dolgan's, Jafco, just to name a few. Best would eventually close by May of 1997 after filing for bankruptcy. Number 3. Steve and Barry's Steve and Barry's was founded in 1985 by Stephen Shore and Barry Prevor at the University of Pennsylvania. It became a popular destination amongst college students due to its low prices of college apparel compared to other university bookstores and gift stores. This led to many locations opening up in many universities. Before opening its first large mall-based store in 1998, they continued with a new line of products such as denim, business casual, activewear, outerwear, footwear, and t-shirts. They also began marketing brands such as Marvel Comics, Ford, WWE, My Little Pony, Monopoly, and more. With the constant line expansion and growth in store count, Steve and Barry's was named Hot Retailer of the Year in 2005, followed by Marketer of the Year in 2007. They were also one of the fastest growing specialty retailers, adding a combined 15 million square feet of new retail space between the years of 2005 and 2007. In 2008, 
The company was deficient in paying a $135.9 million balance and began bankruptcy protection under Chapter 11. Steve and Barry's were also in talks of being acquired by Sears Holdings, which never happened. By 2009, all stores were closed. Number 2. Shopco Founded in 1962 by pharmacist James Rubin and other investors who wanted to form a department store, which was originally called Shopco with a C. The first location opened at 216 South Military Avenue, while a second location opened four years later in Wisconsin. By this time, the letter C was dropped and replaced with K. By the late 1990s, Shopco was up to 100 stores and recently tapped in the California market. Shopco even tried to merge with the Ohio-based chain Farmore in 1996, but that never happened. However, it would eventually purchase some stores from the struggling venture stores chain that were in Kentucky, Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, and Kansas. In 1999, the chain acquired the 147 Pamita store chain and operated it as a separate division. In 2005, the company was acquired by Sun Capital Partners and revealed a new logo. Shopco Express, which was a smaller store format, was also launched to compete with Walgreens and CVS. In 2010, all Pamita stores were rebranded as Shopco Hometown Stores, which focused more on houseware items. In 2018, Shopco shuttered 39 stores and its parent company began to look for a buyer. Its pharmacy division also began to shutter, in which patient records were sold to competitors. In 2019, the company filed for bankruptcy and closed all stores after not securing a buyer. Number 1. Barney's New York Barney's New York was founded in 1923 by Barney Pressman as a 500-square-foot men's discount clothing store in Manhattan. In the 1960s, the chain was transitioned from a discount store to a luxury retailer. The company had massive expansions throughout the 70s, expanding its original building and opening additional locations. In the 1980s, the company dropped the apostrophe in its name. In 1996, the company would file for bankruptcy in which the company decided to close stores that were opened early in the company's expansion. They also established smaller format stores years prior, known as Barney's New York Co-op, which carried products that were less expensive and catered to people with lower budgets. Throughout the early 2000s, the company would go through a series of ownership changes in which the Pressman family sold their remaining share of the company. Changes on the website and advertisement soon followed, which caused a dip in sales. In 2011, the company no longer sold Prada due to a disagreement in leasing space out in selective stores. In 2012, Perry Capital acquired ownership of the company, and Barney's retired its co-op name in 2013, which had about 20 stores before its closing. In 2019, Barney's filed for bankruptcy, in which 15 stores were closed, including its flagship locations. It was acquired by the Authentic Brands Group, which would later close the remaining seven stores and sell its intellectual property to Saks Fifth Avenue. So guys, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Please comment below if you know of any other department stores that weren't mentioned in today's video. Thanks for watching.